Okay, the bitch is back. <laughs> anyway, let's get uh, cracking. So, uh, yeah, I just went back into town, got a few things which will come in handy in this upcoming battle, which I'll describe as and when we get around to using them. This is this is quite funny. So you have to remember that uh, the capital Aspia is being invaded right now by the Empire. And so these are two Imperial troops here and you can talk to them. And they're, they're rather douchebaggy, much like they were back in Chapter 1. Bastard. I find it really funny that Symbiosis and we can just walk up to the gates, have a chat with the uh, Estonian guards and then wander off. Anyway, you notice this statue? Well, we got this statue gem which was dropped or left behind when Braff was taken away. So let's see what happens when we use it. Oh, it's an earthquake. Stairs leading down have appeared. And ah. Uh, I must admit, it's nice to have that relaxing music, as opposed to that marching music, you know. After a while, it does, uh, does great. So, let's go. Do, 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 do. Oh. She's been waiting for it, so she knew, she, she knew. I think she left the gem on purpose. And who's that beside her? Spirio. Uh, drank too much of the Kool Aid. There, yeah, Spirio. Aha, so it comes out. So the Imperial Army has been in cahoots with Bulzom. Gantar is there, as defiant as ever. The Titan is active again. In the original translation it was called the Colossus, but I believe the Titan is more accurate. Yeah, so they revive a titan, and the titan smashes stuff up, Godzilla style. Chaos reigns. So Bassander is the one who controls him. I like that. <laughs> That's right, you heard it. The time has come, finally, for us to kick the shit out of Bassander. It's been a long time coming, bitch. Right, first I'll have to save it because it's very important that I save because, um, again, you see the thief here? Much like the previous uh, previous ruin in the Tower of Lookover, the thief automatically moves. He doesn't just appear when you when you get to the ruins. So we have to really speed up. But that's quite uh, that's quite. Uh, oh, let me start again. That's not quite as annoying as it might sound, because we can enter the ruin from here, and basically what you're meant to do is just take your force over here. A few of the men of the ruin get the thief, come back out, and then we progress forward. And that's exactly what we're going to do, because inside this uh, inside this ruin is the Mitra Ankh, which is Grace's most powerful weapon and possesses a very, a very, very 
cool and powerful summon attack which we really really want we really really want so let's get cracking where possible it's always nice to put elder somewhere where nobody else will get blocked by him yes and lots of enemies here so i get a better angle i'll move it over here so as you can see, hang on, I'll just check out the enemy. So we've got Cerberi, lizard men. We've got some some monks here. Oh, monks here. Mars monk one nine fours. You know, so they've upgraded from the one nine threes. Damn. And we've got uh, minotaurs, which are the first time we've seen them. Very powerful. Lots of health. Spiral here. She's very powerful. She's obviously uh, powered up a bit. And the funny thing is that her, her item is the power undies. Uh, so, yeah, this is basically just a thong. So, you know, I guess that once you kill her, you get to take her underwear, which is uh, nice. Oh, well, I say once you kill her, because the thing is, this is a synchronicity point. A point that connects uh, the scenarios together, uh, carries over. Much like the refugees. Um... Yeah, we don't have to kill Spirit. If you don't kill her, but defeat Bassander first, you will be able to use her as a playable character in Scenario 3, and she is very, very useful. So uh, what we're going to try and do is keep her alive whilst killing Bassander off. And the best way to do that, well, I think the only way you can really do that, is to use a sleep spell on her, which... Noon has because I gave him the one from way back when that grants the power of sleep. So Noon's going to stay back. I gave uh, Noon both lucky cookies, um, no happy cookies, uh, in the game, which provide luck. And so his luck is at maximum. His luck is at nine, which means he's got a great, great chance of succeeding in things like creating sleep effects and such. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to save Spiriel, and we're going to kill Bassander, and we're going to steal the Mitra Ankh from the ruins. And I'm sorry this video has been a lot of talk and not much action. I'll get back to you on the next one where we will actually start moving.